I think it was some sort of delivery driver. I think he must just have rung the bell and then left. Delivery driver? Delivering what? <laughs> Margaret? Delivering what? <laughs> Look, I don't want a debate about it. I know what I ordered. I've got the docket in front of me now. I quite specifically ordered one Excelsior Garden Gnome catalogue number 263. <laughs> I must have put it in the wrong column. It only takes a bit of common sense. What could I possibly want with 263 bloody garden homes in the first place? Like Russia in Munchkin land out here. Three months I've been waiting for this order. I wanted one note by the front door, a lag and a bloody population explosion. <laughs> what? I don't be... She says we've got to fill in one of the return order chitties and send them back as unsatisfactory goods. And any of the items that are even slightly damaged will be charged for. <laughs> That's too blown over already. If we leave them out here, the whole lot will go for a burden. <laughs> bit out there now. The telephone line's still out of action. Yes. Said on the local news, a lot of people have had their electricity cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to do without all over Christmas. Well, at least they won't have to watch television. Sit through all that festive tripe. <laughs> oh, Scylla Black, can you imagine a fate worse than death? <laughs> got a very infectious laugh. So is a hyena with anthrax. <laughs> well, I might try that new video place tomorrow on my way back from the hospital. See if they can do anything worth... <laughs> what the hell are you grinning at? <laughs> Will you get away from me? <laughs> like sleeping in bloody Snow White's cottage. I say I might as well face the truth. But I am just too long in the tooth So I'm an O.I.P. and weak 